Welcome back to the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club, player of the game. As Miles Cherry, a double-double, he'll be our player of the game. Here's Mike. Coach, hard-fought win all the way to the buzzer. You guys played good defense, I thought, consistently throughout, and it showed up there at the end. Yeah, I thought our defense was really good. It has been all preseason. We've been really stressing that, and uh, obviously Michael Smith may not know that because he was, he's a handful, but I thought we, we made him work for everything. We did the best we could, uh, and, uh, you know, now coming into this, we knew Columbia is a good team. They, they're a very good road team. Now, last year they won. They beat Penn at the Flesh to Yale. I mean, they're, they're, they play really good defense. They fight. They compete. And it was a great win for us. Yeah, they made you guys work on the offensive end as well. You know, moving forward, you got to find a little bit more offense, I would think, correct? Yes, absolutely. And uh, we're going to keep working at it and uh, see if we can find that. Always nice to start with a win, Coach. Thank you. Oh, it's tremendous. <laughs> Appreciate it. Let's bring Miles in here. Thanks again, Coach. Miles, congratulations, 14 and 11 tonight. Thank you. Uh, you guys were consistent on the defensive end all night long, and then you found a little bit of rhythm inside, some good interior passing, I thought. Yeah, I just think between me and Lucas, been playing together for, you know, this our fourth year together, developed a little bit of a connection, it's just fun, you know. Made my heart race a little bit there when that shot went up at the end, but yeah, glad to take that one early and get a win early in the season. Absolutely, and you got a, got a lot of guys in the game to play. I think almost everybody scored. Uh, so it, it's important to get everybody in the game and, and find a little bit of offense, correct? Exactly. I think this year our, our biggest strength lies with that depth. I think we got maybe 11, 12 guys that we can bring in the rotation and all contribute and all, and all help the team. So it's, it's been really working well for us. I saw at one point in time you guys got your, your hands on a lot of balls, the length of your team on the perimeter and then interior is a big help. Unbelievable. Guys like Sean and Lucas, they're game changers. You know, Lucas is so versatile and defend, you know, all five positions and Sean is such a good interior defender for us. So yeah, it's really Keep good. Keep it rolling. Two games away, we'll see you back home. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Thank you. Terrific game. Guys, a good start to the Lafayette season. Both the women and the men start off with a big win. It was a fun night to be here. We're here all season long. Back to you. Hey, thank you very much, Mike, and let's take some look at some of the highlights of tonight's ball game. That means we turn it back over to John Leone. Gary, a fun game to watch. Two well-coached teams playing very, very hard. And uh, I'll tell you, Dylan Hastings off the bench. You heard Miles Cherry talk about uh, the length and the versatility and the depth. Uh, this young man right here all night long was a force. Mike Smith, you heard Coach O'Hanlon talk about trying to defend this kid. He put up huge numbers. He had the ball in his hands at the end, just couldn't get it done. Our Coca-Cola player of the game, Miles Cherry, did so many things well, Gary. He's a senior. He's a leader. A double-double with 14 points and 11 rebounds. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, he earned every one of them. There were a couple of really, really strong plays at the end. The inside out, I love the uh, growth of Tyrone Perry. Uh, Lafayette shooting the ball well uh, from the perimeter. Here's that kid, Mike Smith, again, the dribble drive. Look at the strength as he draws Tyrone off his feet, draws the foul, and then gets the three-point play. E.J. Stevens, Gary, you know, he can create shots on his own. Uh, he's just scratching the surface, got great length. Uh, from the guard spot. Look at the passing on the interior by Lucas Jarrett and Miles Cherry. You know, Miles Cherry and Lucas Garrett, we should have, probably should have had two Coca-Cola players of the game. Look at the pass by Sean Good to Kyle Stout. That was a huge bucket right there as Columbia was creeping back into the game. I think that was a, sh a play that uh, will show up uh, on the uh, the game tapes when the, uh, the players look at it. Columbia off a set play on the inbounds play, uh, run a little curl screen on the interior, did a nice job. Lucas, uh, uh, I'm sorry, that, there's the one that Miles Cherry had to work for. Uh, Jaws getting the ball to the rim, and then uh, uh, Miles Cherry going to get it. But, Gary, I'll tell you what, Lafayette's defense did a great job today. It really was about their defense. They held a, uh, a difficult team to guard in Columbia to 37% shooting. Uh, they got to clean up the turnovers a little bit. They did a good job on the backboard, and that's why they won this game. Turnovers, the only negative there. All those other numbers are good, solid numbers, rebounding, shooting from the uh, three-point line. It's all good, and it's a good victory tonight, 65-63. Miles Cherry, 14 points, 11 rebounds. Lucas Jarrett with 10 points. Mike Smith, he had 22 tonight for Columbia. On to St. Francis of Brooklyn. Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock.